Hi, I'm Skyler. If you're wondering what the difference is between total available graphics memory and dedicated video memory, I can show you in probably about two minutes in a drawing exactly what that difference is. All right. So let's say you've got RAM. In my computer, I have, um, just hypothetically, four gigabytes of RAM. And that computer actually has two different graphics cards. It has an Intel HD 4000. And it also has an NVIDIA graphics card. Now, the NVIDIA graphics card has a gigabyte of VRAM. VRAM is dedicated video memory. That exists just for things like rendering textures in video games or um, storing patterns in compression in video editing. A couple different things that it might do. So that one gigabyte of VRAM is actually built on to the video processor. This is sometimes called discrete or dedicated video RAM. The Intel HD 4000 is just a processor. It doesn't have any built-in video RAM. So what it does is share with the main system RAM. Now, the main system RAM, depending on how much stuff you're doing, will only share up to a certain amount with that integrated graphics card. So that, in a nutshell, is the difference between dedicated and total available. So total available takes into account shared memory that's taken from the main system memory. Dedicated is set aside, generally attached to the graphics processor itself, and they're only for processing graphics-related tasks. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler. <laughs>